Lives Matter, 1800s edition. Just because I own slaves doesn't mean I'm racist. I don't even see color. You're racist for being slaves. My closest friends are house Negroes. Look, I didn't ask to have all this cotton. It's not my fault that the cotton is profitable. Don't blame me for something my grandfather's grandfather planted. And if cotton is so bad, why are you wearing it? Don't act innocent. This is the fabric of all our lives. You know what really just uh, shines my shoes? You can give birth to a light-skinned child and everything is fine. But I put on a little bit of blackface. Oh no, that's racist. How? Black face comes off. Your white face is forever. This is not the dream that Abraham Lincoln gave speeches for. Racism ended with the three-fifths compromise. Everyone is equal. We have a black overseer. Slavery is a choice. If you didn't want to get locked up, you should have kept running after we captured your wife. I mean, like, come on, make good decisions or face the consequences. Blacks are 99% more likely to try and escape north. That's not racist. That's just a fact. When will you people realize underground railroads only create racial divide? And why? We're all red on the inside. Look at your brother's body. Rope doesn't make his neck any different than mine. My accountant hung himself, so we're all struggling with something. Don't judge a book that you're not allowed to read. My house is like two stories tops. The real masters live in mansions. I'm a slave like you. Only through love and working together can we get our emancipation. Free the people? How about we the people? Black Lives Matter? Ah! How about all lives matter? Shalom. Kahalayim la Yahweh ba Shem Yahweh Shai ba Shem Harakakdash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the boy of the Wada, the house of David. I am the brother Zion out of GMS Boston once again. And Lord willing, you know, this is edifying. So, you know, I, I don't know if our elders uh, dubbed this term. Um, there's a scripture for that. I don't know if they heard it. But I'll say um, it was the first time, you know, I've heard it, you know, Elder Adam and Elder Moss. And it's basically in reference to, you know, um, I think there's a saying there was an app for that. And uh, there is a saying there's an app for that. And here, you know, in GMS, we know that, you know, there's a scripture basically for every scenario, everything that's played out on the earth, you can always refer it back to a scripture and as I watch I write this video you know automatically I thought about it Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5 alright and it reads whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty and they that sell them say blessed be the Lord for I am rich and their own shepherds petty them not so you know, who's possesses we, we, we um as so called black Native Americans and Hispanics, right? In twenty twenty two, twentieth century, we are indeed um you know, um possessions, all right? You are possessions, your birth certificate, um it is indicative of that, your social security is indicative to that, all right? Uh, ownership is Possession and title. All right. So when you have the car, you have the car in your possession, and you have a title to prove that it belongs to you. Okay. And they slay us and hold themselves not guilty. All right. They can kill us and get off. You know. I always refer back to the movie Django, in which he said, you know, underneath I believe it was Mississippi state law. You know, this is my property, and I can do whatever I want with my property. So if a man, a, a, a white man, you know, in the 17th century, in the 18th century, wanted to kill his slave, you know, that was his loss, <laughs> according to the state. Uh, that was what he wanted to do, all right? And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And and he, the young man in this uh TikTok video um, stated it perfectly. 
you know, he got into the mind frame of the so-called white man, you know. Hey, I can't help it if my house has two stories. I can't help it if I'm rich. I can't help it if you're a slave. I can't help it if my grandfather did that to you. I can't help it. You know, I can't help you. But what they will say and what they will do is count their blessings concerning our misery. All right? And their own machetes pity them not. Yeah, you got sellouts that are amongst our nation. You know, that up scream, yeah, all lives matter, knowing that, you know, um, that what they're doing is gaslighting the reality, all right? They're gaslighting the reality. Let's go to that definition real quick. Let's look up the definition of gaslighting, okay? And it is to manipulate someone by psychological means into questioning their own sanity all right and what's happened to the so-called black and native american and hispanic man is there was a psychological operation um that's been placed on us for centuries all right to make us question you know our realities you know one is racism real just for an example is america racism do we suffer from colorism? Do we suffer from um, the effects that has happened to us 100 years ago, 200 years ago, a couple of generations ago? You know, do we all have the same opportunity? Are we just, are we lazy? You know, do, do we feel, um, you know, you got, you, got, you got some of our people, all right, that's of the Northern Kingdom who feel, you know, like, Aliens and strangers and illegal on, on land that they're indigenous to, all right? On continents that belong to them, all right? Um, New Mexico is New Mexico for a reason, you know? New England is New England for a reason, all right? New Jersey, New York. York is a town, all right? Over in Europe, all right? But, but we've been made to feel... Like, you know, we're infringing <laughs> on them when in fact it's the reality that they're infringing on us. All right, so this gaslighting is something, all right, that's really real, okay, because Esau is a fugitive, all right, and this fugitive is being cornered, and as he's being cornered, the only thing he could come up with in his mind is to make up lies to cover another lie and another lie and another lie. You know, going back to Cain, all right, um, being, going back to Cain, all right, real quick. Uh, Genesis chapter 4, verse 13, And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from the face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive, and a vagabond on earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. All right, what is Cain uh, slash Esau? All right, he's a fugitive. All right, let's go into that definition real quick. So just so that we could we could chop it down, get some synonyms. So that we can understand, you know, where we're at today in 2022. A fugitive, a person who has escaped the police or is hidden, especially to avoid arrest or persecution. All right. And Esau has not um, been prosecuted. He has not been judged. He has not restored these nations in which he's taken down. All right. He's, he runs from his problems, whether it's physically, psychologically, emotionally. He runs from reality, which makes him an escapee. It makes him a runaway. And those are dissimilar, a deserter, a renegade, all right, a refugee, all right? He, 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 but, and when he's cornered, when you tell one lie, you gotta tell another lie, you gotta tell another lie. This is what he's resulted to, a psychological operation, a mind fucking, all right? Excuse my French. Um, on the people, okay? So, in other words, you know, don't let these devil, don't let a devil tell you how you should feel about your realities, about your experiences, about what you go through. You know, the, the scriptures are gonna tell us exactly what's going on. All right, 
you filter everything through the scriptures. So just a quick lesson. I really just wanted to bring those two scriptures out and bring this video out. I thought it was good for uh, edification. The young man really, um, you know, really brought to life, you know, um, the reality of, of what's going on, you know. And, and they're going to have to pay for this, you know. They, they're going to have to pay for it. They're not going to get away. Um, the Heavenly Father is not at all going to uh, uh, quit. All right, the guilty. All right, Shalom.